This is an interesting thing, this little box. I like to show people this box because this came right out of Stan Winston Studios. And this is how pieces were delivered to the set and how they've been stored for all these years. So in this box is one of my favorite things in the sale, the hero insert Terminatrix head. And this is how this piece was sent to set, how it came back from set, and how it's been all these years sitting in this box. So if you ever really wanted something like this, it's, I can't tell you to actually get the cables, all the devices, to get it totally as it was used in the film is almost unheard of. Usually when these things do finally get out, the cables are cut, everything is cut because they reuse this stuff over and over again. This is just such a great opportunity just to see it, just to see these things in their, in their state of when they left production. It's, it's just a, it's an amazing opportunity. There will never be things like this, of this quality, probably ever on the market again. I mean, Stan Winston's legacy is just mag monumental how much work he did. And then, you know, in these cases, uh, there's really no great significance to importance. It's just an assortment of stuff from Stan, you know, one of the arms from Warner Brothers, one of Jim Carrey's clubs. This is cool. This is from Star Trek Voyager. This is one of the Borg Alien Queen arms, scene specific. I've never had one of these before. The detail is beautiful. Uh, you know, Bruce Willis's hero fifth element gun. This is one lights up. This is the hero. And some Star Trek, um, you know, uh, lots of Star Trek pieces. From one of, um, Jack Ferguson was one of the pioneers of Disney. We have his whole Disney collection. These are all different Imagineering awards he got for 35 years of service, 30 years of service, 25 years of service. Mm -hmm. And there's Johnny Carson and Johnny and um, uh, uh, Cordova, Freddie Cordova's um, uh, Emmy from 1979 from The Tonight Show. Pretty historic. Mm -hmm. uh, more things from Stan Winston, Small Soldiers. These are the cable actuated, you know, uh, puppets. A, a movie I personally love. Um, this is uh, Titanic, A Night to Remember. Again, another miniature, just to give you an idea of the detail. And then these are awesome. These are from uh, Batman. These are Michael Keaton. These are the um, uh, small, these are the push models. These would have been on set. These would have been used in push shots. And this is the Batmobile, and this would have been the Batmobile showing what it would look like in its fully armored state. So just, you know, just a ton of stuff. So if you like this stuff, this is going to be Nirvana, this sale. We haven't had a sale uh, since uh, April. Uh, we decided not to have a summer sale. Um, it just became too arduous to get all of this together. So I won't have another sale for six months. And I just this sale I wanted to make like the best one I've ever done. And I really believe that. I know I've said that before, but n there's never been this volume of great things. Literally, I, I, I mean, I wanted every page to be something somebody would want to buy, and I worked our company has worked very hard to give you guys the best possible thing and I've tried to make the estimates as attractive as possible to encourage people that you can buy this stuff it's not all going to be super expensive but if you want great stuff we have Richard Edlund's The Complete Archive multiple Academy Award winner we have stuff from Ghostbusters we have stuff from Poltergeist you know we have stuff from 2010 stuff from Indiana Jones. I mean, Richard's archive is phenomenal. And there's just such great things like that. You know, the George Powell puppetoons. We have George Powell's whole archive. We have all the stop-motion puppets from uh, Emilio. Down here, these are the original stop-motion puppets. Willis O'Brien's Beast of Hollow Mountain. Uh, again, there's just such a wonderful diversity of everything from scripts to, to a Dracula one sheet. There's three in the world. We have one of those who's never been one up at auction before ever. This is the first time one's ever been. It's two to three hundred thousand dollars. There's never been one at auction before. So it's just a great thing. I and mean, we have things from Kill Bill. We have things from, um, uh, you know, God, you know, Gladiator. We have a, a hero Russell Crowe Gladiator costume from the arena scene. Um, just so much stuff. Even like something so simple as this. These are Star Trek TOS, but these are Star Trek TOS. These are screen use Enterprise drinking glasses. These are awesome. <laughs> these are these are awesome. I, these are so cool. And then from Schindler's List, we have everything. His ring, the list, um, all the paraphernalia. His his Oscar Schindler, his cigarette case, his glasses. Just great, great stuff. And then this past weekend you were at the yeah, Disney we're, Expo. We're at D23, so I'm, I'm not my usual energy <laughs> itself. I'm kind of tired. We've been, I haven't slept since last Wednesday, and it's Tuesday. Uh, so we were at D23, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we're working now, of course, with ABC with the Lost Auction. 
and we're basically touring the stuff around the world. We'll be in Honolulu in about four, five weeks at the Honolulu International Film Festival. We'll be doing that, and we'll have the entire cast will be there uh, with us doing a signing and a promotion for the auction. Wow. So again, we're just starting to get the word out, and hopefully in the next few days we're going to have a PDF on the website, maybe 30 items. I'm just trying to show people as we're doing this what the stuff is. So if you look at the website, you know, maybe by Friday there'll be a small PDF where you can see some of the things we're bringing to the shows and kind of what's going to be in the auction little by little as we build this. We're trying to keep people um, appraised of how we're doing this because this is the first time anybody's ever done an auction with a live production so I'm literally working with them step by step to get this done before as they're making the final episode I'm making the catalog. It's pretty complicated but you, we're going to keep giving you guys updates so you can see what it's like. I'm really excited about it. I'm a huge fan of Lost and what I found at, at D23 was either they love it or he loves it and I don't care, or she <laughs> loves it and I don't care. It was, there was, we could see the two couples that would come in. It would be a guy and a girl. They'd go, oh my God, lost. And he'd be standing there, do you want your photo taken? No, she just wants hers. So again, it's not everybody's favorite show, you know, but it's a lot of people's favorite show. So I think that, again, to get stuff of this significance, literally everything from Dharma vehicles to Hurley's Camaro to Charlie's guitar to you know the drive shaft ring of Charlie's to you know whatever you can think of, Kate's airplane, Locke's hunting knife, it's all going to be there. And you project the auction will be held in June? Yeah, probably in June. The finale okay. is in late May of 2010, so probably in June. We're still working out the logistics of all of that. The one thing I can tell you is the auction will be in LA, the physical auction, and there will be a simulcast in Honolulu. Okay. Those decisions have been made, and one of the newest things that I can release because there's not. Uh, this is because this is an active production. It has been decided that a portion of the proceeds of the sale are going to go to various char Hawaii's and charity and Hawaii charities in Hawaii to thank the people of Hawaii for the years that they've helped lost. Uh, be this viable television oh, show because it will impact the economy when this production leaves because they've been there for six years. Right. But the, the, the ABC, a great company, has decided that a, a significant portion of these asset sales will go towards these charities in Hawaii. Okay.